Um, David, your reflections on, on the last five days or so, I last bet you had a, a, had a Sunderland game on the back of that Wimbledon win. Two defeats, but lots of positives it seems to take from those two games. Yeah, I think the Sunderland game was a game we deserve something out of. I thought we played really well, we played against probably the team that's going to be favourites to go back up. And, uh, Thought we competed well. We were unlucky not to get a point in the game, maybe in three points. So disappointment. Tuesday night, I had to change things up because I can't afford any more injuries. So we were at a stage where we gave Elliot Goldthorpe, Reece Staunton at 16, their debuts. We had four other players at 19 playing and starting, and uh, it was a there was positives in the game, but also the result reflects on and it reflects on two defeats. But as I said, needs must in the Tuesday night game, and, that, and that's why I done it. it was. No reflection on the check of trade cup, which is we've got a massive game tomorrow and Saturday at Akin and Stanley, and the, the league's more important to me. That Sunderland performance, was that the big message you've been hammering home this week that you've you know, you, you matched pretty much one of the big sides in the division? No, I, I says, since I've been in, I've, I've been trying to get the players up to, to that level. We're getting there week by week, and uh, I thought the Sunderland game was probably our best performance, and we, we just need to make sure we keep that going. And, um, the players have been in worked hard. We've had a smaller group on Tuesday also with the game. So hopefully the players who didn't play on Tuesday will be fresh for the, the game on Saturday. And uh, as I say, it's the, the, the group's been training well. They've been, they've been working hard this season. And as I say, the game on Tuesday was, was really a game where it was it's good to see Josh Wright back get 90 minutes and a couple of other players coming back, Alec Jones, Joe Riley. So, these are positives we took from the game, but as I say, I wasn't happy with performance, I wasn't happy with the result. Alex, the big one in, in the way we've just spoken to him, he's buzzing to be back. How, how important is it to get those minutes into him, even if, was it, if, he, even if he was only 10? Yeah, he's been out a long time. I think he's probably 9, 10 months and he's probably played competitive football. He's been looking sharp and trained since last week when he started. And as I say, it was important uh, that we tried to get him on the field the other night against uh, Oldham, and it was good to see him back. You see his movement, he's sharp, he, he's always wanting to have a, a shot at goal, which is some as a striker that you, you, you can't teach. And uh, it, it definitely gives a, a boost, but as I say, I still think he's going to be three, four weeks away from full fitness, he's not played a game yet, so having him back at this time is great, but as I say, I think he's still off a, a way off a starting football matches. I was going to say, caution is, is sort of the appropriate measure, isn't it? Well, with all the injuries that you've got at the moment, as much as you want to get them back, you have to just sort of rein it in slightly. Yeah, of course, yeah, it's, it's alright seeing you you're getting players back, we are, but it's going to be a slow process. Uh, because they're back in the squad doesn't mean they're ready to go and play games right away, so this, this is the thing they have to be careful with. We need to make sure that we, we try and get some games arranged if we can and, and try and get them, them match fitness as quickly as we can. So, but as you say, it's good to have them all back and hopefully over the next three, four weeks we'll, we'll start to see the best of the squad that we have available. Important minutes for Josh as well, is, it, is he closer to a return? Yeah, we played 87 minutes the other night and it was good to see him back, he's been out for five weeks, he's been working really hard to get back, so these are things that are good for the squad, it's good for morale when, when people start to see people coming back with the hope back, Pan's about, joined in a wee bit of training today, done his rehab after it and he's looking in great shape, he's worked really hard over three, four weeks that he's been away, uh, get, getting fit, he's working privately with a, with a physio, so he, he's looking good and hopefully we get him back in the next few weeks too. I know we've had two defeats since that one wouldn't win, but do you feel like progress is being made in terms of obviously you've got the good performance on Saturday, but it feels like things are going in the right direction? Of course, I think anybody that's watched over the last few weeks, I think uh, it, it, the momentum goes a wee bit because you lose to Sunderland, which I don't think we deserve to do. We, we lost to Oldham the other night, no disrespect. It was a team of kids that was playing, so it was good for their development. Uh, also, there was a couple of older players playing, but it, it's difficult when you're at a stage when you have so many injuries. And as I said, it's positive heavy now, it's, it's turning to league. And as I said, we, we need to make sure we keep focusing, keep doing the things we're working on, and, and starting to maybe start dominating some more games because I, I felt that over the last three weeks we're, our fitness levels are getting there and we're starting to create a lot of chances. And as I said, these are the type of games now that over the next couple of weeks, maybe we need to start making sure we, we, we start and collect some some wins. Does that make it a little more frustrating? Sean Scannell's sending off last last Saturday, both obviously him sending being sent off, but, but the manner of his sending off as well. Yeah. Nowadays, you get sent off for anything. I thought it, it was handbag stuff by both players. I don't think you, nowadays a red card you get a red card for anything. But I say to Sean after I was disappointed, but at least it shows he cares. 
I think that that's the thing I look at. I, I don't think it, it. When we played football, you didn't get a yellow card for half your things. Now, nowadays, anything you do is a straight red card. And to ban him for four games by pushing someone, I, I think it shows you how far the, the game's changed over the last 15 or 20 years. Because people, people have been involved about 15, 20 years ago, people just got going with shook hands after the game that have been done. But we, we make a lot out of things now. And uh, that's a disappointing thing in football for me. How big a mess will he be? He'll be massive, I think. I was, I was starting to get him where I wanted him. He's, the last three, four weeks he's been really good. Been working hard and training, fitness levels. I think he's been fantastic. But as I said, we're going to miss him for three or four games. But as I said before, we, we need to find a way, we need to find a solution. Because we, we don't have any other players that can start that position just now. Because obviously, I look at Chairman and I look at uh, Jordan Gibson and they're two young boys and it's a wee bit you don't know what you're getting just now, that'll come with experience, so we, we, we need to try and find a way to make sure we've got a competitive team for, for Saturday uh, Big goal on Tuesday night came for Kai Bonga, his first goal in, in Bradford City Colours, how important was that for him? Yeah, delighted for him I think uh, sometimes he gets a bit of stick, but as I said since I've been here he's worked really hard I thought it was a fantastic header, he could have had one or two more he played at Wimbledon. I think he played a massive part in getting us to win there. So these are players that we have to make sure we work with. How many young Thomas this year? There's five or six now that we have to make sure that we try and get best out over the next eight, nine weeks till the window opens in January. So they'll play a part. Everybody who's fit will play a part in the squad. And if I decide that I'm going to play a certain way and players are there and they're available, then they'll play for me. Does that change your thinking with Kai slightly? Because the old adage isn't that once one comes, usually there's, there's a few more in, in quick succession. Does that change your thinking with him at all? No, it doesn't change my thinking. It's good to see him score. You can see with delight when he scored the other night. I think he was over a minute, mate. So it was a great header. And uh, I says, bit by bit, I think you've seen a wee bit different to him. I think he just needs a bit of work, even though he's 23, 24. But it's something we don't have at this moment in time. We played him at Wimbledon, I thought he'd done well. And uh, if I do need to use them again, then I will. Uh, what an Accrington then, promoted last season. They've, they've started life in League One pretty well. Yeah, they have. I think they've got momentum. They've come up last season. and that That's a great thing to have if the manager's been there for a few years. They've got a structure in place. They know how they play. They know, know it's going to be a difficult game. And uh, as I say, it's one that we have to go and try and make your stamp on it. And as I say, we know it's, they're, they're a very good footballing team. They've got players who can help you over the pitch. And uh, I say, but. Saturday, I'm just worried about what we're going to do and how we're going to go out and how we're going to approach the game. And I say we know it's going to be a difficult game, they've got a good home record, and uh, it's something that we, we need to go and, and try and be positive and hopefully pick up the result. They don't score many, though, do they? Yeah, well, they don't concede many because they're, they're not sitting in the top half of your league. By, you know, they're they're organised, they play football, they've got a structure on how they play, they make it difficult for teams. But you see, if they do score one, usually tight games, it's usually a 1 0 either way. But, Season, hopefully it goes towards us on Saturday. Okay. David, you mentioned Hope Ackman getting back into training. Is there an update on the other players who you're missing at the minute? Well, yeah, I've just named, you've seen Alec Jones has been back. Joe Riley's back now. Uh, hope, hopefully we'll be back in a couple of weeks. And uh, Alec, uh, Jake Reeves, we'll just we're waiting to see how he is. He's, he's had a, a minor setback with his, his rehab, so it's, it's frustrating. But these are things that are going to take time and the injured players I, I can't really keep going on about because I'm only interested in the ones that are fit and if the players are getting back then it's a bonus but this moment in time I say is the players who are fit are the ones I'm concentrating on just now. So a bit of a headache at the minute maybe trying to fit players into things you've envisaged in a few weeks you might have a headache of a different kind trying to fit them all them all in. Yeah, yeah. It's, I've had to think about how many different systems are playing games because if somebody gets suspended like injuries then I have to change it uh, and we've been doing it well over the last few weeks but you see me keep losing players like Sean Scan and different things your job gets harder every week so hopefully once everybody is back then there will be competition for places and, and I say to the players once they are back then I'll pick 11 who I think have trained the hardest prepared to go and work really hard and, and then hopefully we've got a strong bench to if we can continue to change the game as need be.